Hey everybody, it is Billy at Be Tough Man. I know some of you have wanted some boat stuff. We've been at the lake doing our lake cabin uh, overhaul, but we are gonna do some boat stuff today. We're gonna do, I got a couple things this week we're gonna do on boats. We're gonna do uh, an oil change here. I'm gonna show you how to do the oil change and also the um, Sureflow RV Marine changer. I picked it up for about 160 bucks. We'll look at it and we'll see if it's worth getting. And um, I'm also going to head down to Gailey's Marine this week. They called me and they said they had the brand new 2021 Mackay. And we're going to take a look at that boat. So we, got, we do have some stuff coming up and we've got more uh, lake cabin stuff. So we are. I will get back on the lake too and we'll do some stuff out there. I have some board reviews I want to do. But uh, today it's oil changes. Let me go get the boat. Bring it back to the house. It's going to be hot today. I want to get this done before it happens. And uh, we'll check it out. And hopefully you can decide whether it's worth doing your own boat oil changes. Without having to plug it in the wall, I can just use the batteries on the boat, then I don't have to bring the boat here. So I figured we'd unbox it real quick and see what it has in it. Okay, comes like this. And pretty simple. So it has a motor here. Let's see how this will work. Okay. So this isn't going to be long enough to get to. See, it has an on-off button right here, on-off. But I don't think this is gonna be long enough to get to my batteries, but it will be long enough to get to the starter. All you have to do is get this to the starter, to the power on the starter, and this onto a ground. So that'll work. And so, let's see what we have here. So we have this long line, and where I'm gonna stick this, um, it might go down the dipstick hole, We'll see when we get there. And if not, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna send it down the drain hole that you know comes with the boats. It has that line that you normally, that people could gravity feed their stuff. And I'll explain why that doesn't work, by the way. And then we have some fittings here. I think this fitting, whoop. I think this fitting goes on here. Yep. So this is a press on fitting. That is going to send the oil right into the bucket, right? And then it's how it works. So yeah, I don't think I'll have to have a plug-in of any kind. I can run it off the batteries in the boat. So let's head over to the boat and uh, see how it works. Here we are at the boat now and the starter is on the passenger side. You can see down there, let's see if I can get this it's a little dark, but we're gonna undo that that red line, it has a little, you know, that's the power going into the starter. We're gonna use that for the power source. And uh, we're gonna come up here. Now, I don't know how big that hole is. I think the hole's, yep, it, it should be able to go down that hole. I'll say if it didn't go down that hole, if that was small, too small, I was gonna use this, but I don't have to. Now, I told you guys that I would talk about this real quick. And in the past, I have used these, the problem, though is when you drain it first off it takes a long time and second off uh it it uh doesn't get all the oil out you can only get about three quarts out maybe three and a half if you're lucky so you're still always going to have about a quart and a half in there so i'm hoping that i can get everything out with this pump so let's get this out let's get the line in there get the power hooked up and see how long it takes Okay, we are going to push this down into the dipstick here and hopefully it fits. I think it will. Yep, there it goes. A little snug going in actually. Or not a bad thing, but it is snug. All right, I've hit the bottom. And what I'm gonna do now that I've hit the bottom, I'm just gonna pull it back, just barely anything. Okay. Okay, I just don't wanna be bottomed out on the bottom. 
Okay, there we are. We are in, and I'm happy that that fits, to be honest with you. We are all hooked up. I have the power connected down there to the starter, to the positive side on the big cable, and then you just hook the negative up to the manifold. Let's do a little test here to see if we're getting some power. Should be getting power. Yep, sounds good. Don't run that pump dry too long. And um, yeah, I think we make sure we got everything here. I've got this line going in, right? Oil should be going in there. I try to get this as low as I can. It's just less work. And then let's connect this to this. I wonder if that has to be tightened with a, that might have to be tightened. Whoops, sorry. We put that in there and I think we gotta tighten that nut. So let's do that. Let's get this all firmly in there that we don't have any oil leaks and see if we can get some oil out of here. Done, but I didn't do but I guess it's okay. So I wish I would have cut this shorter. I wish I would have cut it shorter because the shorter the line, the better. But I guess this would make it so you can take this anywhere, but this is where I'll probably be doing most of the oiling. So let's, uh, let's turn the pump on. Let's see how long it takes for us to get oil up. Nothing yet. I know this is probably going to be a slow process here. Okay, that absolutely didn't work. I was sitting there pumping forever and didn't, and you can see it's dry all the way to here. So that's not going to work. That's not going to work. So now we're going to go to plan B, try to do it through this thing. I'm going to take the top off it. We'll see if we can get that through there and see if we have any better luck. All right, with the top off here. We're gonna put this hose, oh man, I hope that fits. It's gonna be tight. Okay, good, it goes. We're gonna put this all the way down there and see if we have better luck. I heard that one hit the bottom of the pan for sure. So I know I'm in the pan. So let's turn it on and see what happens here. Yep. That's the way it should go. Now we talked about before that See this mess we're doing here. We're kind of doing the loopity loops and all that stuff. I wish that I would have took all that out of there. So you can't go through the dipstick, at least not on this Malibu. You have to go through the drain. It's no big deal. But you can see it's not the fastest thing in the world. Okay. Should take it back through here. We should see that go through here. Let's see if I'm right. I don't know if you'll be able to see it through there, but. Actually, let me make sure that we're actually getting oil in there. Nothing out there yet. something wrong so I got oil to here now but well, there we go I see it see it right there Let's see if I'm right yeah it's pouring in there now okay. Woo! scared me all right so this is not gonna be the fastest procedure but I'm gonna let it sit there for a little bit make sure these wires aren't hot they're not hot so that's working like it should. And we'll come back. And I'll figure out what time it is right now. I think it's, uh, I don't know, I'll start the clock right now. And we'll see how long it takes. Okay, well, we are all drained out. Um, basically about an hour. Um, got it out of there pretty good. I will say this, that I went and gotten something to eat and I came back and of course it was done. And this thing's pretty hot. So don't leave these unattended. That's probably what I would tell you. Um, I think they have to have fluid in there to keep cool, especially if we're running for a long time. But 
it definitely drained everything. And uh, like I looked in here, boy, that thing's real hot. Yeah, don't, so I guess the one thing you can learn is don't leave these things unattended. Um, you can see here, it's uh, pretty much cleared out now. So um, yeah, there you go. Let's put some oil back in. Let's see, I'll know how much, um, how much it got out of there by uh, how much oil goes in. So let's put some oil back in the motor and let's see where we're at. I'm not gonna change the oil filter because I just did it not too, like about a, a month ago. I just didn't get everything out. So now that I have this, I got everything out. So, all right, let's do it. Okay, so I wanna show you something here and it definitely pulled out all the oil, way more than I've been able to get out with um, using the drain thing. I'll, I'll show you why, so I can get this out. So it's about to right here, right? And that's about where it sits when, I mean, cause I didn't, the, the oil filter is filled with oil right now too. So I usually run it about right here. And usually I'm only able to put like three quarts in, three, maybe three and a half, I'm lucky, but usually about three quarts in. And that puts it about where my thumb is. And so, um, yeah, I run it a little bit higher than normal just because when you're wake surfing, you burn a little bit more oil, but definitely works good. I mean, it definitely pulled out all that oil. There was no oil, there was no oil. And I could tell too, because before, when I used to put the uh, new oil in, you could see the discoloration in the oil. Like you could see like, you know, you could see like some of the older oil mixing with the newer oil, but that oil was completely clean. So I know all the old oil is out. System works pretty good. It's about an hour draw. Um, make sure if you do do it, this is still warm, that you hang around and don't let this run dry. Like make sure that you're always running it and uh, don't do what I do and leave for an hour. So stick around uh, the boat when you do it. But overall, good price, easy to do and you'll definitely get out all that oil. All right, there you go, man. Changing your oil in your boat. Thanks for watching. This is Billy at Utah.